everyone, welcome back to Kirsty Cullen Sketch. So you might be wondering why I've got this strange camera angle going on here, but it's so I wanted to show you um, the gift that Colour Me Stress Free kindly sent me for my birthday. So this is a sort of birthday haul and other little bits I've purchased over the past weeks or the month of June. So she kindly got me this little storage solution. It's a little pen storage for my desk. It was very much needed. And it's just amazing, it's brilliant. I can reach for everything I want, everything's in order of where I want it. Um, I've got room for my graphite pencils that I use for my sketching, my white gel pens, my glitter gel pens. Um, she bought me a pack of the Winsor & Newton Alcohol Markers Skin Tone Set because I'd run out. So I've got all my alcohol markers up there. It also came with this really cute little rabbit phone holder. So when I'm watching YouTube and colouring at the same time, I pop my phone in there, keep it at the side of me, and I can watch you all while I'm colouring. So it's brilliant. I love it. So thank you to Colour Me Stress Free for that. So I'm going to get you back down to a normal camera angle now. <laughs> That's a bit better. And catch my breath. I'm talking too fast. Do you ever do that if, you, if you're someone what films? Do you ever talk so much and you're like... <gasps> I best take a breath or else I'm going to sound like I'm dying on camera but yeah anyway so the first two books I want to show you are these now these they're not a new release or anything like that but they're new to me um I've never heard of this artist it's Daisy Fletcher and I've never seen these books until very recently um, they was published in, I think it says 2016 in the Birdtopia and Into the Wild, where does it say, um, 2017, so 2016 and 2017, um, so yeah I'm going to show you the Birdtopia first, so by Daisy Fletcher, they are just a little larger than an A4 size, if I can get an A4 sheet of paper, I've just had one once, <laughs> I don't know where I can chop it, let me find it. This is an A4 sheet of paper, so if I pop it on there and lift the book up, you can see it's a little larger at the top and at the side than an A4 piece of paper. So it's a nice size of the book. So we get into the book and you have your little nameplate and look at this. Now you will notice that the backgrounds are cream. Um, I don't know whether that's something you like or something you don't like, but I personally, I love it. So the background's cream and then the actual illustration is white. So if you didn't like the cream backgrounds, you could still go over them, no problem. I assume that Distress Inks, um, Soft Pastels, anything like that would go over that lovely, no problems. Or if you wanted to just leave it cream, I think that it would look really, really nice just left and then obviously if you colour this bouquet flowers it's just going to pop off the page it's just going to look beautiful I love it it's right up my street this book right up my street so that's a lovely double page spread we do have some grayscale in here as well you will notice a bit of grayscale a little fox down here have we got it on that's very grayscale at the bottom they're just very cute. They almost remind me a tiny bit of the sort of images in the, is it the Botanicum? Or the, not the Dreamery, I think it's the Botanicum. They remind me a bit of illustrations from that book. But I just thought it was so different. I mean, look at, look at these. It's not like anything I've seen before. I mean, if, if you're not new to the colouring community, you might have already seen these books. You might already have them. But if you're new, or relatively new like me, you might not see any. Look at that. Now, that one's all white. I'm going to break the spine of this book. That one's a full white illustration. There's no cream on that page. Look at that. You could have fun with the background on that, couldn't you? But yeah, pretty much, I'll just do a quick flip. Oh, at the back as well of these, you get the names of the flowers and the animals so you can fully reference all the different illustrations, Luke. You can reference them all. So they're all in the back for you. Oh, what a beautiful double page spread that is. 
And also in this book, look at that. It looks like it's a lace effect. How gorgeous is that? Um, but yeah, through the middle of this book, there's actually a couple of pages that have been coloured for you. Look at the parrot. There's a couple of pages that have been coloured for you. Oh, here, just to show you what it looks like coloured. So there's that that's already printed coloured. This one. And you can, of course, there's a little bit left for you to fill in as well. And there's this one that's already coloured. I just thought, what a gorgeous book. And then by the same artist, I got the Into the Wild because I spotted this one as well. So same size format, same brilliant paper, same cream background with white illustrations. Look at this look little squirrel and the look i love this i love this absolutely love this that little tree frog look at this i just think it's so much fun how they placed on the page in different um different places i don't know it's just so different This one's more all your other woodland creatures, where the other one was just birds. We've got a bit of a mixed bag in this one. Got a bit of a blacked out background. Bit of a sketchy, sort of sketchy vibes to that. Look at this big area that you could have fun with there. <gasps> Look at that. I just love it. I think it's, you know, it's just different. I love different. I don't think I've seen any of these pages coloured on Instagram. Not that I'm aware of. Cactus. Oh, cacti. Look at that. Absolutely. That page is stunning. I can imagine how beautiful this would look when it's finished. Coloured stunning in this I just love it look at that look at that yeah so and at the back of this one as well you do get um oh there's a big double page in here look at this it's a pull out I don't think I'm gonna get this on camera I might have to pull you off the tripod but at the end of the book you've got these two beetles guarding the doors to a massive pull out oh my word let me get you off the tripod but i want to show you the full full effect of this look at that oh my word shannon if you're watching one of the prompts on color chat with sammy's checklist challenge is to color a pull out page but let me tell you i don't think i'll be doing this one in a hurry <laughs> it's beautiful but oh my word look at that look at that right i'll put you back on the tripod now please do bear with me so i'm happy i got to show you that we'll fold it back up and we'll get it back <laughs> and there's the back and again you have a reference of the flowers and the animals in every single page so that you can go on Google or whatever, you can Google the correct colours. Or you can just do your own thing. Doesn't matter, but that colour um, that guide is there for a reference if you so wish. So those are the first two books that I purchased by Daisy Fletcher, Birdtopia and Into the Wild. Let me pop them down here. So the next book I ordered I had a bit of a mer with and I'm still trying to work out the uh, confusion I've had. Lesson to self, don't go ordering things when you're half asleep or at midnight, late at night when you're tired. Because I ordered a book from two separate people. I forgot I'd ordered from two separate people so when my book arrived, it was arrived damaged. So I messaged the person I thought I'd ordered it from to let them know that it was damaged. And yeah, it's a very confusing story to go into. But basically, 
I ordered Lady Spring. This was the boot that arrived, the very first boot that arrived, and as you can see, it's damaged. So we had this, it looked like it had been, you know, squished up in transit. So it had this line through here. I don't know if you can see the top, but it had been bent in here, so all the pages had an indentation. The back had been pressed in as well. So we had um, a bump here. You can't really pick it up on camera, but it's like a raised bump. So say I wanted to colour um, this page here. It feels like there's a big ball or something underneath the page. So the amount of padding I'd have to put under there um, to try and get them in. Um, there's an indentation that's not picking up on camera, but because of that, that went in, it put an indentation on all the back pages, which it's not picking up, but you, know, you can sort of see on the back side. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd ordered this one from Grazia Salvo. It turns out I didn't. But Grazia, bless her heart, she has been so helpful, so, so helpful in helping me out. Um, she offered to send me a book for half price, a new one. Um, then we've just, um, the new one came through the post basically. And I'm going to send her a message on Etsy saying, thank you so much for sending the, um, the book out again. This one's arrived in perfect condition. And she sent me a message back saying, um, I'm just trying to work out what's happened. Um, she said, I haven't actually shipped the, the um, discounted book yet. And I was like, oh, right. She said, can you just check you've not ordered from any other sellers? So I was thinking and thinking and I couldn't for the life of me. I'm, in my head, I was like, I've only ordered it once. I've only ordered it from Grazia. But apparently when I looked through all my transactions, all my PayPal, all my Etsy, I found out that I'd actually ordered it from the Decor Made website as well, if that's what it is. So this book that arrived damaged was actually from Poland from the Decor Made website, I believe. I think, I mean, I must have been half asleep when I ordered it. But that's my story anyway, Grazia was lovely. And yeah, this one was actually from Grazia. So it's a gorgeous book. <laughs> You've probably seen it on a few um, channels. She's put a lovely little ladybird on there as well. But you've probably seen this on a few channels um, because it has been shown on a few now. But it's a gorgeous her back book. It's a sort of collaboration between all these ladies. So unfortunately, I'm not the best at pronouncing names, but I do recognise Karolina Kubikowska. I recognise Isabella, that's Rosary Sawanamama. Um, I recognise Grazia Salvo, obviously. I'm not too familiar with um, these two artists, but I'll show you what's inside the book. Um, this one is from Grazia. I should have known the other one wasn't because Grazia's come signed, so I just didn't pick up on that. I didn't pick up on it, but Grazia, bless her heart, she was absolutely amazing at helping me out. So, so these are all just little bits of information about each individual artist. There we go. These are all the books that they've done. So this is Carolina Kubi Kouska and all her books. And then this is the artwork inside. Nature is Queen, Heart of Blue. Rebirth, we've got You Gave Me Wings, The Prophet, and then this is Rosary Sawana Mama. These are just the cutest little illustrations. Her First Steps, Tempting Aromas, Sweet Whispers, Lovely Delicacy, Spring Compositions, and then we have Anna. I'm not sure of the last name. These are books that she's done. And this is Japanese Plum. We have Animon. Is that what it says? <laughs> Tulip. We have Pasque Flowers or Pasque Flowers. Primrose. And then we have Chrysia. Chrysia. I do recognise these books though. I do recognise those. <laughs> Innocent. Tenderness, sub, 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 <laughs> oncoming. This one's rebirth as well. Then we have Grazia Salvo. You must have recognised some of those. Alice, Nest, 
Perundu. I bet I'm pronouncing all these names wrong. Sakura. Rosabella. And then we have Barbara. These are books that she's done. These are quite quirky. Children of the Spring. Full Moon. These are quite grayscale as well. Enchantment. Storm. And then we've got a test page so you can test out all your mediums. But yeah, it's a gorgeous book. Brilliant paper. Brilliant hair pat book. Um, yeah, we had a lot of confusion about that, but it's all fixed now. It's all fixed. Kirsty did not remember she ordered from two different places because she spends too much time browsing and shopping when she should be sleeping. But there we go. So the next book I decided to get was this one, The Disney Dreams Collection by Thomas Kincaid Studios. Now, I've seen this loads of times on lots of different channels. I've always put off buying it because I've always been intimidated by it. I still am intimidated by it. But I recently watched Lavella's um, finished colouring pages and she did two pages from Thomas Kincaid Boots and they are absolutely stunning. So if you've not seen that, go and check it out, Lavella's channel. Um, absolutely stunning she's done but yeah I just I just think they're beautiful absolutely beautiful and initially after seeing this book on other people's channels I thought this book was a lot bigger I thought it was like an A4 size but it's not it's smaller which makes it less intimidating for me it is quite a small scale book um, but I am intimidated it's you look at the gorgeous painting that Thomas Kincaid's done on the left hand side and you think, how can I possibly make this simple line out look like that? But I think it's one of them things where you just have to jump in with it. And once you start, maybe, you know, it'll be okay in the end. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. They're so beautiful. And Lavella's pages just sold me. It was absolutely stunning. Stunning. I think she did the um, a My Little Mermaid page. I think it might have been one like this. But just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely beautiful pages. I don't know if the paper feels quite good. I imagine you'd be able to put a little bit of maybe, maybe a little bit of watercolour. Maybe a bit of, because um, I was thinking on some of the watery pages that I might be able to put a bit of acrylic paint down on there but yeah i got that one i caved in and got that one been looking for a very long time so the next book that i'd purchased is the flowerscape so i've seen this quite a while ago as well but i do love coloring flowers um so i went for it i went for it and bought this one it's really good paper it's you know like a cardstock type paper look at that and then you have the very floral detailed pages and some simpler pages so you can really pick and choose what mood you're in to colour do you want to colour something very detailed do you want to colour something simple one day if you just sat down on the couch you've got a bit of time spare you could just do one flower i just really think it's lovely look at that little one it's a lovely book of the paper in it is brilliant so if you love colouring flowers, I suggest getting this book because you'll love it. If you love flowers, you'll love this book. If you don't love flowers, you'll really not like this book. <laughs> but there we go. Look at that one. Look at that. But I do love it because there's a mix of, like, if every single page was like this, I wouldn't like it. Because they have to be in the right mood to colour something so detailed. But because there's a mix of pages... I love it. Look at this one with the raspberries. Oh, yeah, I think the raspberries are blackberries. Oh, beautiful. That one would be beautiful to colour. Look at that. <gasps> wow. But yeah, I love it. I love it. So that's the flowerscape. Most of these are off Amazon as well. So I've got a couple of um, pages from Etsy and I've been looking for new artists and I came across 
this one now this one is i want to say nina kurt nina kurtz it says n kurtz i'll pop it up here i'm sure it's nina kurtz but if i'm slightly wrong i'll pop the name up here of the etsy shop but how beautiful is that and i've printed these off on a 180 gsm paper that i get off amazon as well and it takes watercolor brilliantly and um, we have this page they're just beautiful and then we have one what's this way landscape look at that absolutely stunning that one look at that so yeah i can't wait to color them so that was a nice little find on etsy i've seen quite a few new artists recently so yeah this is the paper that i get the 180 gsm it just comes in a pack of 50 packed like this in cellophane it comes in a cardboard envelope um i will drop the link in the description down below but it's brilliant been brilliant for me so the next thing that i want to show you is my pastel mat pads that i purchased emergency vehicles go past so if you know me you know i've been starting pets and portraits and normally i do them on this size pastel mat paper so this size is i think it's nine by twelve no nine by seven 9x7, 18 by 24 centimetres, and I normally do that size pet portraits. Um, but if you saw recently my finished colouring pages, you'll see that I did a really big um, pet portrait for my father-in-law for Father's Day, and it was on this, and this is the 30 by 40 paper. So you can see the size difference, and this is why I was so scared doing that pet portrait. Um, I was so terrified, because it's so much larger than what I'm used to. But it's a slightly different pad as well. Um, in this one that I've just bought, it's called number four. It's got wine, dark blue, light blue and sand in it. Whereas the other one that I had was buttercup maize, dark grey and light grey. So I thought I'd try out these different colours. I have only used the light blue so far. But it's a gorgeous. Look at that wine colour. How lovely would that be? If you've not tried this paper and you do any sort of art, I thoroughly recommend it. It's brilliant for pastels, absolutely brilliant. So that's the dark blue. And then the light blue under there. It almost looks grey, but it's, it's a light blue. And then the sand. And they all have these protective sheets. They're good for turning out and leaning on, so you're not smudging your pet portrait when you're doing it. But yeah, I just, I just, yeah. So who knows when the next time I do another pet portrait this big is going to be. But I got that specially for to do my father-in-laws. And then I got this. Now I've had to put it landscape because it won't fit on. It's big. Um, it's So it would fit onto that, pan past, uh, that pastel mat pad. Um, I printed off a reference picture to do my father-in-law's portrait. And I used this tray stone. Now what this is. You put the tray stain paper on top of the paper you want to draw on and then you put your reference picture over the top, you draw around it and it leaves the outline on the paper for you. So it's brilliant, it's brilliant stuff but it really helped me because it's the first time I'd done a, um, a whole body on a dog. Normally I just do the face um, but for my father-in-law I was doing the whole dog, I was a bit nervous so I thought I'm gonna go around the outline and just get the proportion proportions down on the page and that's what i used so i think you can get it in smaller sizes as well but that was off amazon so next up you might have seen on my channel a while ago that i did do a little review of the paul rubin oil pastels and the kids big oil pastels so these are something of a new purchase for me as well. I do believe these was, these was on the Prime Day deals as well. And I think they might be still on offer now. Um, but I did a really messy page with these. But yeah, and that's them. You've probably seen them. But that's what I did purchase in the month of June. Those oil pastels. They are really, really messy. But they are a really good creamy 
thick creamy oil, oil pastel especially good for if you do your own art and you want to do them i imagine these would be good on that pastel matte paper as well you know i bet they would so that's them and then obviously these little bit kids ones when i tested them out and reviewed them against the paul rubens these was really nice as well brilliant for a budget friendly oil pastel if you're looking for something like that they was really nice so if you want to check out that video it is up on the channel so you'll be able to see the difference between the two but that was that so next up was something i said i wasn't going to get color me stress free if you're watching yes i did end up buying them and that is the pastel low colored pencils by astra yes i did after saying i had no more room for any more supplies any more pencils i went for it but i'm glad i did i'm glad i did because they're beautiful and i don't have any whole binds because they're way out in my price league so these are a nice complimentary pencil to all my other sets you know just falling out they have fell out once as well my daughter got hold of them and they went all over the floor <laughs> as you can see i've been testing them out and i love them i absolutely love them i've got the swatches but i'm gonna have to be careful because i have swatched some glitter glue in here also and i don't want to get it all over me because it's not dried but these are the astra pastel law pencil swatches my children are kindly banging my doors for whatever reason <laughs> But well, these are the swatches and this side as well. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. So I'm very glad that I purchased them. Very, very glad. They're gorgeous. The only thing with these is they don't have names and numbers on, but that really doesn't bother me. I've swatched them out now and they are in the order that I've swatched them out, left to right. Um, but I may just get some sticker labels and just label them 1 to 50 on the end here and then name them in my swatch book as well so we'll see but beautiful pencils if you're on the fence about these if you don't have the holbines go and get these They're fantastic i think i only paid 13 pounds for them as well absolutely brilliant so next up i got some wax paper now you might be thinking what she's showing us that for <laughs> but i did a really really messy page in my johanna basford book with the old pastels that i've just shown you and this was brilliant for protecting my pages from sticking together um it's i got this off amazon really cheap but they're like the perfect square well almost a square size they're like almost a perfect square size just to place in your boot like that and then protect anything you've done maybe you've done a bit of chalk pastel that you want to protect rather than spraying it or anything else you just want to protect they're perfectly sized and perfectly cut and i just thought yeah i'm gonna get some of them <laughs> so there's 50 sheets in here and they've got a gorgeous pattern on them which always um helps as well i love pretty things so i'll link them down below as well if you're interested in any of that for the pet portrait i did decided to try out the windsor and newton fixative normally i get the budget brand frisk um that you can get off amazon but i thought i would try out this one um to be honest this one is a lot smellier like i could i could bear the smell of the frisk one but this one has quite a strong order to it which i'm not too keen on as for performance um yeah just about the same as well i can't say that this performed any better or any less than the frisk so in future i think i'm just gonna get my budget brand my frisk because you yeah, have not noticed any difference but there you go Windsor & Newton fixative I also got this little brush that I'd seen on Colin Chat with Sammy's channel she kindly told me where she got it from and Kenny kindly told me or sent me a link as well to this one I absolutely love it if you're doing a colouring page you've got quite a lot of um, pencil dust on your page rather than wafting it with your hand which I do and then I end up scraping nail varnish colour onto my colouring page uh oh you just waft it with this it's brilliant absolutely brilliant <laughs> there we go new little tigal sharpener because i broke my other one so these are brilliant i love these i love that you can change the um size on them one to five i love that i do have the swordfish icon um sharpener as well but i brought that as well i'm not doing well with sharpeners lately 
but yeah I had a blue one of these and I had to get a pink one this time I was like yay pink so that was that this was another little thing that I got off Colour Me Stress Free with my pen holder. This is the Windsor and Newton Gold ink and this is absolutely beautiful stuff. Now you can see that when it's been resting it does separate. So before you use it you do have to give it a really 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 good shake and make sure it's all mixed but it's absolutely stunning on your, page, on your colouring pages. Absolutely stunning. You can get that on Amazon as well if you don't already know about that one. Got my little post-it notes for my pages. I've been doing quite a few buddy colours recently. These ones are the mini ones, so I can stick these quite easily. This is my swatch book, <laughs> but I can stick these quite easily onto one of my little colouring pages and write on the side what I've used or write buddy colour with. And it's not one of them, you know, one of them really big ones that takes up loads of space. So that was out my local supermarket, but I just thought I'd show you. <laughs> Next up we have some supply, oh no I'll show you the stickles first actually, I've got them all, um, not stickles, glitter glue, sparkles glitter glue because I've got them swatched out here. So I wanted to try and find a budget friendly product that was like stickles. I found these on Amazon and I thought they looked like they're in the same kind of tube style with a small nib and I thought I would give them a go. Now when I've got them and I've swatched them out, they look lovely. They do look lovely. I don't know if the light's going to hit them for you to see properly. They're not as good as Stickles. I don't think you're going to get a budget brand that sparkles quite the same as Stickles that comes in this format. If you can, let me know. But they're, they're good. They're good for a budget brand. They're good for little accents. They're just not as good as Stickles. But they're a good budget, you know, alternative. But I just thought I'd put a little line of glue on. They are still wet as well, so it's not completely dried. But there we go. So that is the Sparkles Glitter Glue. I'm going to pop them over there out right the way. So next up, I've got some things from... I don't know if you know um, Colouring Kid, Imogen from Colouring Kid. This is her little details. Well, she now has an Etsy store. A little stationery at Etsy shop where she sells handmade stickers, bootmarks, gift tags um, and more recently I'll show you what I've got from her score so I'll put that to the side. So these are the bootmarks that I picked and she does these in a range of different colours. So this was the blue set I believe but she does have a few other ranges. I think there was a yellow set, a pink set, a green set. Um, red set maybe but you'll have to go and check out her store i'll i'll leave it linked down below but they're the cutest little things ever and if i get one of my boots you might have seen me use these on the channel before but if i get a little book they've got a little fold i don't know if you can see it on camera they've got a little fold and you slide it on and it keeps your page they're absolutely the most adorable little things so that's them take that one out and then I ordered these from her so she's doing these little A5 notebooks in a pack of two it was wrapped so beautifully as well but I had to have a sneak peek and open them up so that's why the tissue paper's all ripped <laughs> I can't contain myself so these are the little notebooks and she's put them in these little is it a belly band is it called a belly band what she's handmade and put a little um a little logo one that they're just, just the cutest thing and you can get different animals so I picked the giraffes but you can get zebras you can get I think there was bumblebees um possibly elephants you'll have to go and have a look but I thought these were super cute super super cute look at the the little illustrations but they are just a little a5 white notebook so I can put swatches in there if I wanted to. I can put YouTube ideas in there. They're just the sweetest little things ever. Sweet. And then she always sends these little handmade um, envelopes. So I've not opened this one yet. We'll have a look. It's a cute little flower envelope. Oh, and she's put a little um, she's put a little freebie in there. So she's put a little sticker in. Look at this little elephant sticker, how cute. 
little well fit sticker and I think it's uh it's another one in there. I don't know if I'm be able gonna be able to get into it. I'm the worst at opening things. <laughs> I can't see where the edge is. Let me get my scissors on it without cutting anything. Let's see if we can get in. So just opened it up. Oh look. Two little elephants and a giraffe. Let me turn him round. How cute. I'm gonna put them on my pencil cases. Super cute. But yeah, I thought them was so cute. So that's from Colouring Kids um, Etsy store. I'll link it down below. The lovely imaging. Let me pop them out the way. So the next thing I got was a new Distress Oxide. So I've been trying to um, increase my collection of the Distress Oxides and the Distress Inks. And this one was the Mustard Seed. Now, I don't know if you've seen my latest Finished Pages video. But I did do a page in Camilla Davko's Cute and Creepy using this. So I'll show you that page and then you can see what it looks like because it's a stunning colour. As soon as I saw it, I thought I want to try that out. So this is it. I did put a little bit of the tea dye over the top, but the main bulk of it was this Distress Oxide Mustard Seed. It's absolutely beautiful. And last but not least, I have not even seen what this item is because it's a surprise. So I went on to Etsy. Let me zoom you in a bit. I went on to Etsy and I decided I wanted some new washi tapes for, you know, my colouring pages to start using a few more washi tapes in there. And I came across these surprise washi tape bags. Now you'll see quite a lot if you type into Etsy, like mystery bags of all sorts of things. But I spotted this one now. There's three washi tapes in here and I've not seen what they are yet. So this is a surprise for me. And this was from GretelCreates.com. So they are on Etsy. So I've got 10% off my next purchase. And we're gonna see what's inside because I've not seen. I'm super excited. We'll see what's the first one. Oh, look, sunflowers. Can you see the sunflowers? That looks like a bit vintage, doesn't it? How cute. That's going to go so well with the flower books that I've bought and the flower scape. Maybe I can put some into that book. See, how nice is that? Next. Oh, cute little one. A cute little thin heart one. Don't know where I'll use that yet, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. Oh, there's four in here. I thought there was only three. There's another one there. Oh, look at that. I don't know if I'm keen on that one. I don't know if I like that one or not. It's a bit quirky. And then... Oh, there's three in one pack here. Three separate ones. So we've got a teal, a pink and a purple with like a silver foiling running throughout. Oh, that's really cute. Really cute. Oh, that's so much fun. That is so much fun opening something that you've not seen. I really like that sunflower one. I think that's my favourite. Um, so you don't know what you're going to get in these bags. They're totally random. Mystery packs. Really, really fun. And that one I'm definitely going to use in my flower skate book. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing what goodies I bought for my birthday. Please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. See you again soon. Bye everyone.